M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's set up the Yaesu FTM200D with WiresX PDN mode. First thing you're going to do is register with WiresX. Just go to this page, the link will be in description, and click Member Registration. Once you've done that, you will have this box here. Put in your email, click Send here and then you'll get a form to fill out and then they, a couple of days later, two, three days later, you will get your room and your ID number. The other thing you need is the SCU cable. The new one is the 58. The old one I've got is the is the 20 cable. You can use it if you roll back the driver by right clicking when the cable is connected. Device manager, double click ports, right click update driver, select browse my computer, then select let me pick, choose an older driver, highlight one, click next, and then you'll be able to use your older cable on Windows 11. And of course, you need to plug the cable into the back of the radio. There's only one place, be very careful putting that cable in there, quite thin pins. You need to get it the right way around because you could bend the pins. So once you've done that, and you've got your reply back from WiresX via email, you'll be able to log into your account. You'll have two numbers, a room ID and a user ID. So log into your account with the details that you've agreed with them here and you'll get your software. Go to where it says node owners page. Now you're only going to see this when you log in, okay? But you get the login information on your email. So we we'll go here and then the latest software or any updates you might need to do are here. It looks like I've just noticed there is an update on the HRI 200 box, which I will do later. But anyway, uh, going back to WiresX software. So here we are, WiresX PC software, just here, the second one down. Click that, there is information for any update because you also can update the software we just downloaded. So the software we've got looks like this little green and red square. So click that and you'll get your window. It will open like this. Uh, even at this point, you can select device manager to see your Comport connection, you do need that. Click refresh here, and we're going to find the com and we're going to click OK. And if everything's connected correctly, you'll get this window and it will say, like, see, mine at the moment says transceiver not connected, but that's because we haven't entered it yet. So now to put the radio into the correct mode, hold down the GM and the DX button and turn the radio on and the screen will say wires X. Now we're going to put in our room and ID number just here at the top. So I've got my numbers. They're very similar. So nine, five, two, three, six. So this is first time activation. You only do this once. Then it's zero, five, two, three, six, and then click ID entry, it's talking to Yesu. Now click OK. And that's it, we're connected now. And on the bottom left, I know they put this very small, but it's such an important thing to see. It says ready. Um, so we're connected and the screen says direct mode. And that means we'll be hearing everything and using the microphone that we've got on the Yesu FTM 200. If we push the AB on the radio, and we see a frequency, it means we can now use another handheld to talk on that frequency, and we can actually change that frequency, and I'll show you how to do that. But at the moment, if we key the mic now, we will uh, be keying using the fist microphone, because we're in direct mode. So looking at what's on screen, so at the bottom it says here, room ID. So these are the different rooms that you can connect to. You can create shortcuts to these rooms by right-clicking one that you like, and then clicking add to bookmark and it puts it at the top here. This is like your activity sort of, um, it's, it's, I don't know, it's hard to describe, it's, it's, it's what you connect to. So the box above here is your, is your user ID. If we look at what's here, we've got call signs, then we've got the user ID and there looks like location details and frequencies. So we can also connect using this box here at the top. So we go connect 
connect to and then it opens up this new box and we can type in the numbers the room numbers and we can connect so there's one i've already saved let's click ok and it should connect to that which i'm pretty sure it's america link to disconnect you go connect disconnect you can also click favorites that you've added at the top here you can right click and click connect and it will connect the good thing about I find with the SCU cable without the additional, uh, say, HRI 200 box, you're not really having problems with setting up router router connections through your broadband router. So it's quite straightforward, single connection, USB to your PC, and it just works so well. So let's disconnect. So let's say you want to connect using your handheld and use the radio as almost like a hotspot and you've got i've got my ft5 here in the background let's just get that in camera shot so at the moment the radio says direct mode if we push the a b button we see a frequency on the screen and if and my radio has the same frequency simplex dn they're both in dn mode we can't use analog mode unless we add the extra cables that you get with the kit or we, we use the HRI 200, then you can use an analog radio, analog mode. So how do we change the frequency so it suits us? So what we do, we go file, transceiver, you get this window, and there's a lot you can do. And if you had an analog, analog connection cables, you'd be able to select analog here in the drop down. But the, the basic one is the frequency look. So it says 145500 there. If we change that to 525, 25, click apply now if you're going to TX you need to stay within your banged conditions or license conditions I've got a dummy load connected to my radio at the moment and you can see the frequencies change and if I TX on the radio once connected to a room let's connect to CQ UK right click connect and then we'll just push the PTT briefly well we need to change the frequency on my radio because i just changed that to 25 14525 and then we'll just go m0 fxb test and you can see i'll turn the volume down now on the raid on the ftm 200 that it showed up green on the dashboard here just up on the left when i transmitted if we don't want to walk around using our handheld then we just push the a b button again we're back in direct mode and we can now use the radio so that's the basics of it. You can actually send QSL cards with this. See this box here, you can upload a picture or photograph to this box and you can send and receive QSL cards. There's a, quite a few settings in this software. Settings, pretty sure the one that is always recommended is, where is it, general settings, unlimited timeout. That's one I've been told to always select. But anyway, we're not going to go into the full in-depth thing. This is just basically registering, downloading, and setting up. So thanks for watching my channel, and enjoy WireZX. And we'll have a go adding the analog cables now and see how we get on with the analog connections. Bye for now, 7-3, all the best.